What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm going to be playing Base Dialga and Scarf Great Tusk. Now it's been a while since we've seen Great Tusk, but it kind of makes sense into the meta right at the moment. Uh, it's, at one of the, it's a ground type user, which pairs well with Dialga's telepathy because it can spam Earthquake without damaging your partner. And also it's got enough attack that it's headlong rush and knockoff in close combat these moves can KO some restricted Pokemon, like Knockoff's going to take Kali Shadow, Headlong Rush is definitely going to be enough to take Maridon, especially because a lot of them are Terra Electric, so they can't really get around it. And so it's a good combo. Uh, on the, the rest of this team, we've got Tornadus for some speed control, and Sunny Day to power up Chi Yu. Uh, this Chi Yu is just a Sash set with Heat Wave, Dark Pulse, Snarl, but it can do some big damage, and it can power up Dialga, because this Dialga is a Salt Vest, Unlike Dialga Origin, which carries the Adamant Crystal, which gives it a power boost, this one doesn't have any power boost, so Chi Yu really helps it. Uh, and then we have a Rock Ogre Pond, just a very solid good Pokemon with Follow Me, and Incineroar. You know Incineroar. Incineroar is a good Pokemon. Safety Goggles, Will O Wisp, Terra Water. Great into Cali Ice, as long as you can hit Will O Wisps. But, anyways, looks like a solid team. It's an Evan team, so you know it's gonna do well. And, anyways, let's get on to it. Alright, we got a Tatsugiri Don Dozo matchup with Cali Ice, Clefairy, Iron Jugulus, and Grass Ogre Pond. Uh, what are my answers into Don Dozo? Water Terra Willow Spinson. Okay. So I gotta have that. Uh, Diablo's like not bad. If they're unaware, I can just Draco, 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 Draco. So I like that. Uh, Cali Ice, Incineroar is also good into. Tornadus has Taunt as well, could get redirected. I want Dialga, Incin. No, maybe Incin in the back. No, Dialga Ensign makes sense. I want Tusk, and then I'm wondering who the last should be. Ogre Pun and Chi Yu can both take a hit. I don't think I need much speed control, though they do have a potential for Tailwind mode. Uh, Ensign lead is not gonna happen, actually, because they got that Ogre Pun. I want to put Ensign in the back. And then finally, I wonder if it's Chi Yu or Ogre Pun. I'm gonna lock Ogre Pun. Just because, like, I have Horn Leech for the Dondozo if it doesn't Terra. I have Ivy Cudgel for the Calyrex, which I'm sure they'll have. And I can Terra to get a defense boost on top of getting rid of the Ice Weakness. It, it might be okay. Oh, that's a great trainer card. Love that. I think that's on the board in, like, the club room. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm glad I pulled in Sin back. Because this makes a lot of sense as their lead. Alright. Yeah, because the Ogre Pond would have Defiant. Uh, they've got Ogre Pond Calyrex as the lead. Uh, I could Earthquake. I could try to go for a knockoff. I feel like they might just follow me and they might be Sash. So they might just be getting Trick Room here. Do I want to Terra my Tusk right away? I think I do. I think I want to go for a Flash Cannon. Steal Terra just to take hits from either of them. And just go for Earthquake. Because if they redirect, Earthquake plus Flash Cannon might not KO Ogre Pond, honestly. Now that I think about it. But it'll be good damage into Calyrex if they let me hit that. And I don't feel like lowering my own defenses and letting Calyrex hit me easier. Yeah, it is just follow me. So I'm Earthquaking just to get some damage on the Cali. Like, I could've locked Knock off, I guess. Oh, that's not very much damage on Cali, honestly. Flash Cannon probably doesn't KO. Oh, it does with a crit! Okay. I didn't really care if I KO'd there. Oh, and they just throw a Glacial Lance, so I'm glad I terra that was great. And Dialga takes that pretty well. 
pretty well, I'd say. Uh, who's this? Clefairy? Don Dozo? Don Dozo? Uh, well, I have Incineroar for you, but I don't have Terra anymore. Whoopsie. Uh, I didn't think they would bring Don Dozo with what that, the lead they had. Yikes. I want to Draco the Dozo and continue to Earthquake. There's a few ways they could play this. Okay, they are swapping out Calyrex. I, I didn't want to attack the Calyrex lot because I figured Tatsugiri might be coming in here. So unless they just go after Dialga here with like, I guess they could Earthquake here. That would do a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah, get all your boosts. I get to Earthquake first because I'm faster. Tatsugiri dodges, Dialga's Telepathy, and a little chip to Dondo. Who just goes for Order Up? Into Tusk? I don't care about that at all. She do get your attack boost, I guess. Good Draco damage, too. Alright, and they're leftovers. Meaning I should be able to intimidate them, which is great. Uh, so I think I'll throw another Draco and bring in Ensign. Because Tusk is not doing much damage here. I, I would want to switch to like Headlong Rush. Or maybe even Knock Off to get rid of those leftovers. Tatsugiri's attack falls for some reason. Because <laughs> that works, but you can't hit it. Oh yeah, they go for Earthquake, Incin should eat this. I don't think Dialga does, honestly. Yeah. Sad. Uh, and they still have Terra, but I could... Fake Out plus Ivy Cudgel has a high crit chance. They could Earthquake here. They could protect. I think they'd probably protect here from the fake out. So what I actually want to do is still throw a horn leech, but get in tusk so I can get another intimidate later. Because I think they just protect the fake out turn anyway. Let's see if I got that right. Yeah. Cool. Free swap. Thank you. Alright, now the question is what type they could become. They're off in Terra Grass, so I don't want to lock a ground move plus Horn Leech. Um, they rarely go for a Terra that can take like... I mean, Cudgel plus close, plus like Knock Off. Get rid of their leftovers. I think that's pretty good. They didn't Terra. Leftover is gone. You just go for Earthquake. Makes sense. I shouldn't KO anybody. Yep, we're good. Ogre Pond should be able to take another one of those with another Intimidate. And now I will Horn Leech, bring in Incineroar. Yeah, and I should be able to take an Earthquake. I think you would go for Earthquake again. I don't think you switch it up and go single target move into Ogre Pond. I'm hoping you don't, at least. And then I'm hoping I have enough juice after I get through this Dondozo. Yeah, it is Earthquake. You've been intimidated again. Incineroar probably goes down. Yeah, but Ogre Pond is okay. And then honestly, I'm okay if this leaves you low. Yeah, good. I like that, actually. Because that means I can finish you off with Great Tusk. And you have Tatsugiri, Calyrex. Um, I'm, I'm wondering, do I lock CC or do I lock Headlong Rush? They didn't Terra yet. Don't know who they're saving the Terra for. I want a lot close combat, I think. And I don't think Ivy Cudgel Oko's Tatsugiri, so I'd rather get some health back. I will Horn Leech, and I will... 
close combat. Okay, they just protect just to see what I'm doing, I guess. If they are Terra Ghost on Dozo, I mean Terra Ghost on anything would be annoying here. Um, if they are Scarf Tatsugiri, maybe I'm in trouble. Uh, would they be faster than Tusk anyway? I guess they might be. Maybe then I should go for Cudgel. Do more damage. Okay. So let's combat finishes Dondozo. If I can Cudgel Crit and Oko Tatsugiri, I'm in a good position. Uh, or if their Tatsugiri is not Sash, that would help. Ooh, it's gone! That wasn't even a crit. Okay. Ivy Cudgel was the right call then. Oh boy. So yeah, now we just get to double into this Calyrex and hope they can't take that. They've already got a little bit of chip and we're throwing some really strong moves. So they better have the perfect Terra. They probably do have a Terra. But can you take both of these moves? Because I'm in Glacial Lance range. Oh, they don't even Terra! Did they already use it? Or is it just that bad? Maybe it's fire and so there's no point. Get him, Ogre Pond. Yes, get out of here. Take that, Dozo player. <laughs> Great Tusk Dialga and Rock Ogre Pond taking down a Dozo player. GG and good card. Okay, Ting Lu, female and Didi, Gloom. Uh, Dugong, Lunala, and Tinkaton. I've seen a Gloom Dugong team before. The Gloom, I don't, it doesn't, what, throw sleep powders? And the Dugong throws horn drills? Uh, <laughs> I don't love it. But that means we gotta do damage. Fast. Tusk does damage. Dialga can do some damage. So let's just throw our damage at them. Fast and strong. Yeah. Let's put Dialga on the left. Uh, I'm learning. Uh, Insin seems fine. Some good intimidate targets, some good dark weaknesses. We have knockoff. And parting shot isn't gonna be that important. Uh, Ogre Pond is completely immune to Horn Drill. And it can do damage to Ting Lu. It can do damage to everything that isn't Tinkerton. Uh, the question is, do I want Chi Yu? I feel like Ting Lu comes, and then I don't want Chi Yu because of that. I also don't think I need Torn, though Taunt could be... No, I can't Taunt because they have Indeedee, yeah. So I'm gonna go Ogre Pond. I want to Earthquake, but I might not Earthquake. Because I've got some... I've only got one thing I can Earthquake next to, and that's Dialga. So maybe I lock into a single target move. Shiny Hypno, okay. This is a weird guy we're playing. Let's see how it goes. I don't know if this is the exact team I saw that was going around like a while ago. Oh boy. There's Dugong. Uh, I could knock off at Lunala. But I want to respect the Dugong threat, honestly. Uh, Dugong also gets like Fake Out. I think I want to Earthquake. And then a great tusk. I want to break Lunala's shield. So I want a flash cannon, earthquake. Yeah. I want to break the shield one way or another. I know they're going to fake out something. Okay, tusk flinches, but we get to break shadow shield with flash cannon. And see that we're faster. Doesn't do much. Ooh, and a moon blast into tusk. Takes us out! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no no no. Not cool, not cool. Very uncool. Incin is a bit obvious. I'm gonna go Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond can do big damage to Dugong. While Dialga tries to beat this Lunala. <laughs> oh boy. Flash Cannon. Ivy Cudgel, but no Terra yet. I'm not gonna Terra yet. Yeah, there goes Dugong. Yeah, I didn't need it. Good. I didn't think so. 
Dugong is weird, but it's not great. And we are faster still. Good. How much does this do? Good damage. Lunala is below half. Moongeist Beam. Can't kill anybody, at least. Sure, it'll break Ogre Pond sturdy, do over half. But you're probably in Cudgel range, especially a Terra Cudgel. And that's a Gloom. I don't know if I care. Uh, Draco... Ice Beam's fine in the Gloom. I don't expect one to KO and the other to not. And then Lunala? Is Ivy Cudgel gonna be enough or do I need to Terra? If I Terra, I become vulnerable to Gloom shenanigans. But it's not like they're gonna throw a Gloom shenanigan right now, so I think I can Terra Rock Ivy Cudgel your Lunala. I want to do as much damage as I can to this Lunala right now. Really upset about what you did to my Tusk. Like, I guess I could should have seen that coming in Terra Steel turn one, but man. All right, we got the we got the stuff. No Terra from their end. No Protect from their end. Just a Lunala that no longer exists. Goodbye. Get out of here. And then now let's see what Gloom does. I'm probably not gonna like it. Ice Beam has a freeze chance. Yeah, Draco wasn't gonna KO. Oh, and they Sleep Powder connecting onto my Dialga. Whatever. Could have been worse, I guess. Could it have been? No, not really. <laughs> that was about the worst thing that could happen. Oh, and there's Tinglu. Okay, so Dialga was never really that threatening to the rest of your team. Uh, I'm gonna Ice Beam and Spiky Shield. It seems free. Just try to burn one turn of sleep here. Oh, and bait out a Terra, nice. Love to see that for free. Ting Lu into something that doesn't go down to grass. Yep, poison Ting Lu. Okay. Just gonna protect up on that. Uh, I see why they wanted to get rid of my Great Tusk so bad. <laughs> Earthquake here would be so nice! Stomping. Yeah, hurt yourself. And protecting the Stomping Tantrum does not double the next one. You have to actually miss. Ooh, and they heal up on Dialga. Well done. That's probably gonna get you a lot of health back. Dialga's a legendary Pokemon. Oh yeah, you're back to full. Um... I could swap Incin on the Stomping Tantrum. That wouldn't do too much. And then Ice Beam there. Yeah. That's probably fine. Then we can get a Fake Out turn to burn another turn of sleep. Oh, I guess they could Strength Sap again, but Dialga's attack is going down. So you're not gonna full heal every time. Could just also Flare Blitz and then deal with this Ting Lu on its own. Now, Fake Out will double Stomping Tantrum, though, so maybe I don't want to do that on the team with But I can take a few of those. And Pollen Puffing their own... Yeah, no. You gotta go. Bloom, you're gone. Sorry. Bye. Get out of here. Ice Beam. Oh, I only have Knock Off. Um, Ice Beam Fake Out, I guess? No. I'm gonna Willow the Tinglu. I think that's a better use of my time. They might try to sleep in Sin and I got goggles. Oh, and Dialga sleep again? Three turns sleep and a Willow miss. Okay, thank you. That's exactly what I needed. Uh, and now they're starting to throw Fissure. Yeah, that makes sense. At least Dialga dodges that one. Man. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna double the Gloom. Yeah, get out of here, Gloom. I need you gone. That's not gonna be nearly enough. Oh, we got a freeze. But we got a freeze. Let's go. And Eviolite's gone. Fissure misses. Fair. I can't even hit a Will-O-Wisp. 
they thaw immediately. And they try to sleep instant. Okay, that's cool. Uh, ice beam should be plenty there. And I will knock off the Ting Lu. Yeah, finally Gloom is gone. Oh man. If they were hitting these fissures, this would be terrifying. Uh, they're, pro they're due now. They've missed two. It's a little under one in three accuracy. They're basically due to hit one now. But they still don't, thank goodness. That's great. Oh, after Ensign? Who cares? Ensign wasn't the threat there. Oh, I wish I hadn't Terrid Ogre Pond now, because it could be immune to Fissure. Uh, it's pretty close to stomping range anyway. Uh, which is why I should burn him. Uh, I think I will go for... Flash Cannon. It's consistent damage. Could get a special defense drop too to, to power up the next one. Yeah, that's decent damage. And Will O Wisp doesn't connect again. But it's fine, it would be do doing more damage than knockoff. And we dodge Fissure. Okay, fair. Fair is fair. I can't even hit an 85. Don't ask to hit a 30. Okay? I'm gonna Draco you now. Because you're starting to get at the range where it matters. Oh, and they cancel. Ah, you had Fissures left. I don't know what that was about. Anyway, GG. All right, we've got a Kali Ice. Uh, they've also got Farigraph, Urshifu, Pelipper, Reggie Lecky for some reason, uh, and Rumble. Reggie Lecky, what's that doing there? Spread moves. I mean, they don't have redirection, but they have Pelipper. Tusk does not like to see Pelipper. In fact, most of my team doesn't like to see Pelipper, but Kronos doesn't really care. Ensign is Will O Wisp. That's good into their Kali. Uh, they're definitely gonna bring Pelipper though. I don't want to bring Torn, but like Torn for Sunny Day <laughs> isn't the worst. Uh, they got multiple Trick Room setters. Uh, if I could bring like Chiyu and Tusk and like Earthquake and Heat Wave, that'd be fun, but. No, uh, I need Dialga, Incin, Tusk, and either Chiyu or Ogre Pond. Oh, jeez, I don't know. Uh, I'm... I'm so scared of Pelipper that I'm gonna go Ogre Pond. Yeah, Pelipper can cause so many problems for this team. And I can't really afford to bring my Sunny Day user. I mean, Pelipper can cause problems even in the sun. All it has to do is, like, hit hurricanes. Okay, good card. That's fine card. Alright, what are you go- Oh, you changed your hair. Rapid Strike Urshifu and Calyrex Ice versus Incineroar Dialga. Okay. I can live with that. Uh, the Intimidate on your Urshifu means close combat won't do as much to Dialga. It's not like you're gonna Surging Strikes Dialga. I think I Terra Water Incin to get a burn. I could also do that next turn. I could fake out Flash Cannon. Get the Terra next turn. That feels pretty free. When you do this, it's typically... Oh, they're gonna swap Kali. Okay. So this is a good turn. into Farigraph to block the fake out. Right, 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 right. So I should have tear it, is what you're saying. Uh, no, they just CC into the... Oh, goodness, that does so much damage. Why did you do so much damage there? That's not cool. Uh... <laughs> Terra Fairy now. Draco to take that out and knock off Farigarath, hopefully taking that out. Oh, this might work. This might work. Because they're presumably locked into close combat. That shouldn't take Ensign. They think it'll take Dialga from here, but now it won't. And I might be able to get a double KO here, because their defense is going to be minus two. And Farigarath's pretty low. Knockoff might be able to do it. 
helping hand. Ooh, are they gonna try to take Ensign? They are! Smart play. Smart play. Very smart play. Okay. That was a good play. Good play. I, I, I gotta respect that one. Please connect to Draco. Thank you. Alright, Urshifu, you're out of here. Uh, we traded... Uh, I don't think we came out ahead. We don't have instant anymore. We have just the things weak to ice and no Terra. Huh. Not great. Uh, I'm gonna go Tusk. Uh, they're gonna go Cowie. I think... Uh, what Terra would they have? I think they would probably be Terra Grass or Water. I don't think they would be Terra Fire plus Pelipper. And I think they would have not swapped that way turn one if they were Fire. I don't think they're Fire. I think Farigarath is going to try to set Trick Room. So I'm going to try to stop it. If I can. I'm going to Earthquake Flash Cannon. Okay, they didn't Terra the Kali. Hopefully this is enough to take Farigarath. It is. Uh, at least that's good. But if Glacial Lance just takes two KOs here, we can't win. Come on, everybody eat, please. Youch. Alright, at least Tusk eats, but we're locked into Earthquake, so that sucks really hard. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's not like I could have Headlong Rush, then I would have gone down. And I couldn't let Farigraph set Trick Room. Uh, not good. Not good at all. Very bad. Very, very, very bad. And who's this? Oh, it's... Oh, I can't win. How can I win this? Uh, they target Tusk with Pelipper. Crit Ivy Cudgel takes Cali, but they would just Terra. Ivy Cudgel, Pelipper, and Earthquake. But if they just set Trick Room, or if they just Glacial Lance... No, there's no way. There's no way through this. The way through this is they protect Cali, I guess. Or they tear it into something weak to ground for some reason. It's gotta be, what, Water, Grass? Fairy? Huh. Explains why you didn't do that in front of the Alga, but... Now I wish I just doubled you the last turn. Oh man, and I do over half with my own Earthquake. Oh, and there's Sash Pelipper! Okay. Yeah, never never a chance. Never a chance here. What are you throwing now? Uh, Weather Ball that might get the KO on its own. Yeah, bye Ogre Pond. Oh. Alright. Should not have locked into Earthquake, I guess. I guess it should have been Knockoff? I guess knockoff would have worked, but then it never would have done any damage to Cali after the Terra. Double Pelipper there. Then I would have had to Oko that with Ivy Cudgel. It's not happening. Yeah. GG. There was no way to win that. <laughs> Fun game, though. Okay, Maridon Bundle, Water Ogre Pond, Golden Go, Incineroar, and Iron Leaves. No ground types. So I don't think they have a discharge plan. Great Tusk is, of course, great, except that they have Bundle, which I do not like to see. Uh, my best answer to Maridon is, I mean, Dialga, oh, his name's Kronos, nice. Uh, Dialga and Tusk, but I need to be able to beat Bundle. Maybe that's Tornadus Chiyu. Chiyu is 304, that's not faster than Bundle. 
I mean, Bundle might not be max speed these days. Uh, I could go Tornadus, Chi Yu. Tusk, Dialga. Uh, Incineroar would be good against their Leaves, against their Golden Go, but I have Chi Yu that's good into both of those anyway. Uh, against their Water Ogre Pond, I need Kronos. Okay, this is gonna be... They've got a very aggressive team. I'm gonna lock this in. I could have good chances. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be... <laughs> Go Goat. I love it. Oh, that's a great card. Uh, but anyways, it really matters the lead, and it really matters what happens turn one. Oh, Golden Gomorite on? Love that. Oh, I absolutely am in love with that. Thank you. I will snarl, and I will tailwind, and you will deal with it. Fantastic. Tailwind. My Terra is Ghost. That's not going to be relevant here. Snarl. Oh, yes. I like this lead. Uh, that doesn't mean I win the game. It's still a hard game. Because Bundle could come in and just still be faster than Chi Yu. Uh, they protect their Golden Go. Are they going to try to take out my Torn here? Or are they going to try to hit Chi Yu? If they try to hit Chi Yu, I have a whole Sash to work with. But if they take out Tornadus, I get something else in Undertale. Dazzling Gleam. That's not going to KO anybody. It crit Torn, though. Who I think I should get out into Dialga. Dialga is Assault Vest, it can take anything. And then, probably another Snarl. Who would they swap? They might tear a Golden Go, they might swap. The only thing that really swaps in comfortably is Ogre Pond. And that wouldn't want to come in on a Bleak Wind. So I'm happy to go to Dialga and Snarl again. That way I can potentially get another Tailwind late game. Since they're protecting, they're probably going to play this slow. I don't think I can win in four turns. Three now. Yeah, there goes the money. Uh, were you bold enough to bring in Ogre Pond there? Fuego. Okay, yeah, Incense Vine. Another Snarl down on the Maridon would be nice. And now I can start doing damage with this Dialga. Doing damage with Dialga. And just another Gleam. Fine. Waste your time. Uh, do I Terra Chi Yu to get around the fake out? Is that too obvious? Is Chi Yu not threatening enough? I think I want to. I mean, they'll probably swap Dialga, right? Would they? I want damage into Incineroar. I want to Aura Spirit. And then if they did want to swap Maridon, who would it be into? Don't care, get in Tusk. It's a little risky to go into Tusk here, I will admit, because it could just be another Dazzling Gleam, but I don't think it is another Dazzling Gleam. I think they would want to swap out at this point. They're at minus two, and I actually have something that can threaten them on the field. Yeah, finally they swap out. Okay, got it right. That was risky, but I think it will benefit me in the long run. And I didn't fall for the Golden Go coming in there. They are attacking with Ensign, who took that really well. Ooh, there goes my Scarf. That might help, though. Alright, so Earthquake is beautiful here. How's the Tailwind going? Last turn. I like Earthquake here. Do I want to bring in Torn? Or do I want to throw a move at Golden Go so they can't just play like that? If I bring in Torn and get hit, I'm in trouble. I think Golden Go would just protect anyway. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna bring in Torn. And I'm an Earthquake. My calls against this guy have been correct so far. So I'm gonna keep going with that. I think they're playing safely. I think they want to get out of Tailwind. 
Yes, they protect. Good. Got it. Now, hopefully, Earthquake can take their Incin. I think it should. But if they're just, like, way too bulky and live this, that would be annoying. No, we take them. Great. Great, great, great. The terrain gone? I think it should be. Or no, one more turn? Yeah, there will be one more turn of terrain. That's right. Terrain lasts five, tailwind only lasts four. Eisenblatt, no! Oh, it's that? Uh, do you get a speed boost? Attack boost. Oh, fine. Well, obviously I set tailwind again. And Chi Yu is poised to do some great stuff. Golden Go Might Terra here. But I think I just want an Earthquake anyway. Get some chip, potentially break a sash on the Eisenblatt. Yeah, I think I'll just go for Earthquake. Ah, uh, no, ter no Terra from Golden Go. Could be Terra Steel. Could be saving Terra from Maridon even. But thank you. This is going to be good damage, even though both of these are probably going down. Shiyu plus Dialga in the back seems really great. Yeah, Leaf Blade that's going to do... Oh, all of it to test. Okay. Do you have an offensive item? I mean, with the attack boost from... Oh yeah, you have Life Blade. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, and a Nasty Plot. Okay, that's what you want to do. I don't know about that, because I'm going to bring in Chi Yu and I'm going to do big damage now. As long as I hit my uh, Heat Wave. Haha. <laughs> uh, should I back it up with a Bleak Wind Storm or a Sunny Day? Sunny Day into Heat Wave would rip through Golden Go, even through Terra. But so would Bleak Wind, but Bleak Wind's less accurate. I'm gonna Sunny Day Heat Wave. I, mm -hmm. I, I could lose off of this play, because Heat Wave can miss. Uh, maybe it should have been a Dark Pulse to Golden Go and Bleak Wind. Uh, maybe it's just a double protect from them anyway. No, okay, they're just gonna protect one slot. So I only have to hit one Heat Wave to you this turn. Just gotta hit one. Good. Goodbye, Golden Go. Love it. Okay. <laughs> now, the only thing that can go wrong is losing Tornadus on the last turn of Tailwind. When, and we have two left. So they double protect and then I lose Tornadus. That's how this could go wrong. Turns of Tailwind, Sun is out. Dialga should be able to beat Eisenblatt anyway. So I'm happy to throw Bleak Winds at Eisenblatt. Oh, do they Terra? I think Bleak Wind Heat Wave is fine. Even though there's accuracy problems, I think it's still my best combo into any potential Terra they could throw out here. Because I think they're probably Fairy Maridon. So I don't... Oh, they're going to Terra that. Into Fire! So Dark Pulse into Maridon is probably better. But we'll see what happens with this damage. I, just, I should still do great damage. Yeah, Bleak Wind connects on both. Amazing. Any speed drops? No. Heat Wave connects on both. Finishes almost everything. Maridon hangs on a little bit. This is perfectly fine. Um, I guess annoying could be parabolic charge. It's just that really. Okay. We've got Dialga. We've even got Terra on Dialga if we think you might switch to a dragon move, but we're faster this turn, right? Depends on the speed on Dialga. Evan, how'd you train this thing? Oh, that's fast. Oh, we're fine. Oh yeah. Oh, we're way faster. As long as this last turn of Tailwind doesn't get stalled out. But I get the feeling they're either Specs or AV, since they haven't protected and they haven't swapped moves. Uh, last turn of Tailwind. They already burned Terra, so Ice Beam is free. Yeah. 
Goodbye, Maridon. Yeah, Diago, take that KO. Woo! Thank you so much, Chiyu, for landing all of those moves. I know I didn't I didn't ask too much out of you, I don't think. But you pulled through. Thank you. And we are back. I never thought I'd fight a Gloom on the on the ladder. I never thought a Gloom would give me that much trouble on the ladder. Uh, but we made it through. Maybe not with Tusk, but with the rest of this team. Anyways, thank you, Evan, for building this team. It was a ton of fun. Uh, thank you for watching to the end. Make sure you leave a like on this video, and go subscribe to my channel as well, if you haven't already. I know a lot of you haven't yet, so go do that now. Uh, but anyways, go try the rental code if you like it. And I'm Jordy. And, uh, alright. Peace.